movement going on and lots of telephone symbols so I'm not quite sure. Shiny, you're there? Yes? Aladdin, hello? Yes, hi Marianne. Hi. Hi, hi. now I'm not sure. I, I keep my fingers crossed today because the internet was playing around a little bit earlier so um, I'm hoping that my signal will be uh, strong enough to um, manage the Skype. So, um, okay, Chani, you're trying to watch the video. I didn't actually manage to watch it because my, um, I think my connection was so slow, but um, maybe afterwards it might be worth having a look at. Um, this is an article that Lynn sent me that looks very interesting and which I found um, a follow-up copy um, just a few days ago. They actually followed up on this story. So we're going to read through the original story and also have a look at the follow-up. Okay, so um, Aladdin, would you like to start well us off, done. please? You made it. Now what? Create an account and start posting. Sorry, I ought to say the title is remember, Office Put Chips Under Staff's Skin. So it's actually the um, the name. Yeah, um, hello. Okay, Aladdin. Yep. <laughs> start reading from uh, Skype yeah. or from uh, the article in uh, Office Put Chips Under Skin. Stuff scan. Uh -huh. Hello. Breaking up. I can't hear you. No, I'm waiting for oh, you okay. to start. Okay. Okay. <laughs> want to go to gain entry to your office. So I want to gain entry to your office. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Can you see it? I can yes, see it. Yes, I can see it. Yes, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Okay. Want to gain entry to your office, get on a pass, or perhaps buy a sandwich. We are all getting used to swiping a card to do all these things. But at episode are you there? Two, yeah, I'm reading. Can you hear me? Oh my God. Anyone? I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a new a, a new high tech office block in Sweden. They are trying a different approach. A ships under the scan. Very, very cute. Di Costa, I'm not sure I've pronounced it, uh, his name right, uh, whose company is one of the tenant, tenants ar arrives at the phone front door and holding his hand against, against it to gain entry. Inside he does the same things to get into the office space he rent and he can also wear his hand to operate the photocopier. That's all because he he has a tiny RFID, radio frequency identification ships, about the size of uh, a grain uh, of rice, implemented in his hand. So soon, other among the seven hundred people accepted to occupy the complex will also to offer the chance to be shipped along with access to doors and photocopiers they are promised future services in uh, in the longer uh, run including the ability to buy in the coffee with a touch of the hand 
Right. Okay. So, is there any vocabulary there that you're not sure about, Aladdin? Um, one of the ten tints. Uh, what is it? T E A N. Tenants. Does anyone know what a tenant is? We have tenants in houses, tenants in um, offices. So when you rent something, you don't own it, you're paying rent to a landlord, okay? So it might be land, it might be an office, it might be a house, yeah? So um, we have um, the tenants in an office block, okay? So, Lynn has made a very good point here. Chips, not ships. Okay. I used to have this problem when I was a kid because I used to copy my mother. And in French, people find the CH very impossible to pronounce. My mother still calls a chip a ship. Okay. It's a hard sound. <clears throat> so we have chips that we can eat and of course we have these tiny little micro chips so they're micro they're tiny okay now i i used to think that there was actually a lot more use of these than perhaps there is so far but anyway um maybe let's see who should we have reading navel would you like can you read are you able to yes. read Okay, yes. would you like to read the next paragraph, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, on the day of the building's official opening, the developer's chief executive was himself chip uh, live on stage. And I decided that if was to get to grips with the technology, I had to bite the bullet and get chipped too. The process, the whole process is being organized by a Swedish biohacking group, which was profiled by my colleague, Jane Wakefield recently. One of its members, a rather fearsome looking tattooist, inserted my chip. First he massaged the skin between my thumb and index finger and rubbed in some disinfectant then he told me to take a deep breath while he inserted the chip. There was there was a moment of pain, not, not much worse than any injection. And then he stuck a plaster over my hand. Before trying my chip out, I wanted to know more about the thinking behind it. Haynes, uh, Joe Blatt, whose electronic business card is on his own chip and can be accessed with a swipe of with a swipe of a smartphone has the title chief disruption uh, sorry disruption officer at the development i asked him whether people really wanted to get to get this intimate with technology by oh you break um, oh okay Okay, you, you've broken up completely. I can't hear anything from you now. So with a swipe of a smartphone, has the title chief distribution officer at the development. I asked him whether people really wanted to get this intimate with technology. Okay, so can you hear me? I see Aladdin yes. has got two, two, two. Yes, okay. So, um... Navel, can you hear me? Do you know what it yes, means? Yes, I to... can, but a while ago your voice wasn't very clear, actually. Your no, voice I couldn't clear. hear you at all. You completely disappeared. Um, okay. Bite the bullet. Okay. What does bite the bullet mean? Uh, to endure the pain, I think. Sorry? Uh, to endure the pain. No, it's oh. um, okay. If we look at the context here, um, 
if I were um, okay to to get to grips with the tech with this technology, I had to bite the bullet and get chipped too. So it's like um, I have I have to accept it or try it out. Okay, okay. Um, it usually means you have to sort of be a little bit brave. Yeah, and we're using the verb to be or to to chip. Okay, so um, you in this in this instance, this is really what the verb is about. It's when it's the actual uh, um, putting the chip in to the person, or it could be it could be anything. You could you could chip um, you could chip an item uh, uh, in a shop, for instance, which is I think where they also use uh, microchips. Is there any vocabulary there that you're not sure about? Uh, mm, no, I don't think so. One second. I think that there was a word that I wasn't sure about. One second. Let me check it. Okay. No, it's, uh, it's fine. It's okay. We'll hear on your screen because it's um, it's not quite clear yet. Uh, alternative would be if you're able to open the link that um, is right at the beginning. Office puts chips under our skin um, because I've just put in the next few up that screen. I'm not sure what you're using, whether you're using uh, computers or phones, because I should imagine it's much more difficult if you're juggling between a phone and, um, but I'm not having, it's just, can you hear me? Maybe you can't even hear me. Okay, I'm uh, going to, can you hear me? Are you asking me? Or well, okay, okay, it's just. Are you asking through. No, it's okay. It's okay. I think we've got it come through now. So, the paragraph or the section I put, we already interact with technology. Marco, are you able to read for us? Okay, okay. <coughs> uh, we already interact. Okay. We already interact with technology all the time. He told me today it's a bit messy. We need, we need uh, pin codes and passwords. Wouldn't it be easy to just touch with your hand? That's really intuitive. When I tested my chip, I found that it was not all that intuitive. I had to twist my hand into an unnatural position to make the photocopier work. And while some of the people around the building were looking forward to being chipped, others were distinctly dubious. Absolutely not, said one young man when I asked him if he he'd sign up. An older uh, woman was more positive about the potential of the technology, but so little point in being chipped just to get through a door. But hands Sjoblad says he and the Swedish biohacking group have another objective, preparing us all for the day when others want to cheap us. We want to be able to understand this technology before big corporates and big government come to us and say everyone should get chipped. The tax authority chip, uh, the Google or Facebook chip. Then he says, will all be able to question the way the technology is implemented from a position of much greater knowledge. 
Okay, again, I lost you for a little bit in the hear you say that the uh, big government come to us and say everyone should get chipped, the tax authority chip, the Google or Facebook chip. Yeah. Okay, so, um, right. At the moment, it looks like uh, these chips are quite simple, yes? So, um, Marco, what does it mean by intuitive? If something is intuitive. Mm, like, uh, mm, you don't uh, need to think about something like your immediate reaction, like your intuition yes. will. Mm. Yes. Yes, that's right. It's it's something that it more or less thinks for itself. It's very simple. Yeah. Okay, Fetty, could you read us the next paragraph, please? This is the last paragraph of this article. The last paragraph. Uh, begin I've with returned the, to Britain. Begin with what? Yes. I've returned to Britain with a slightly sore hand. Can you see it? But Hans, can you read for us, or would you rather just listen? No, no. Yes, I uh, I will read. But uh, I I begin with. Uh, you begin with. I've returned to Britain with a slightly sore hand. Yeah. I don't see any slide. Uh, it's the last paragraph I've just pasted on the screen, so it's just above Marco's winking face. <laughs> <laughs> just a minute, I, uh, just a minute, please. Okay, if you can't see it, let's go on to the next person. Maybe, um, okay, Shiny, okay, could okay. you read this last paragraph? Okay. See it now, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, um, Feti, let's um, let's uh, um, leave uh, Shiny to read it, okay? Because we don't have very much time. Yeah, if you can't see it, Shiny, okay, okay. would you like to? Read? Okay, would you like to read now? And if you can't read, just let us know, and we'll um, get someone else to read. Okay. Okay, Shiny, could you please read that paragraph? I've returned to Britain with a slightly sore hand and a chip still under my skin, which has my contact details on it. Not that useful, but no doubt more sophisticated chips will soon replace wearable technology like fitness bands or payment devices, and we all get used to being augmented. All sorts of things are possible. Whether it becomes culturally acceptable to insert technology beneath our skin is another matter. Okay, very good. Augmented, what does that mean? If something is augmented? Anyone? Zoom in. Mm, yes, yes. Bigger or better or improved upon. Yeah. If you augment something, I, I tend to think of it as being improved on, but um, made bigger. Yeah, um, that would work. Is there anything else you weren't sure about on this article? On the, sorry, on this paragraph. You see how they've used wear, wearable technology, okay? Something that you can wear. No, Shiny, um, I actually heard you very well. Okay, so that's the article that was written in, let's see, it was in, um, what was it 2015, I think? Now, I actually, when I was looking, found an article that um, was written um, a lot more recently. 
that follows up on this story. So it actually continues on this story. So um, we've now got... Um, your answer. Okay, Shani, what were you answering? You mean when I asked the question? Okay, uh, no. Yes, I answered it, but uh, I forgot. I think I forgot to turn on my mic. Okay. Okay, Fetty, are you ready for this next paragraph? I'm sorry to hurry you. It's just we have such a short amount of time that I expect people to actually respond immediately. Okay, so if you're ready, if you would like to read the next section. Oh, okay, I am ready. I am ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Cyborg, cyborg, cyborg at work. Swedish employees getting implanted with uh, microchips uh, for April uh, 2017. Epicenter, which is home to uh, to more than 100 companies and some and some 2,000 workers began implant, uh, implanting workers workers in January uh, 2015. Now about uh, 150 workers have them. A company based in Bel Belgium also offers its employees such implants and there are isolated case, uh, cases around the world where tech uh, and enthusiasts have tried this out in recent years. The small amp, uh, uh, implants used near uh, field communication, NF, NFC, NFC technology, the same as in uh, con uh, contactless credit card or mobile payments. When acti uh, activated by a reader a few, a few uh, centimeters, inches away, a small amount of data follows between the two devices via electromagnet, electromagnetic waves. The implant, uh, the, ampl uh, the implants are pass uh, passive, meaning they contain information that other devices can read, but cannot read information themselves. Great, that's good. Is there any vocabulary there that you weren't very sure about? Uh, no, I don't. Uh... Yes. If something is implanted. Implants, no, no. Uh... Can you guess what looks So if you have uh, something that is growing like, like a plant, the verb is to plant it, so you plant it in the ground, yes? So the idea is that you're, you're putting into something. So if I'm implanting this chip, a person, I'm putting it inside. Bonnie, would you like to read the next section, please? Okay, just uh, one second. Mm, okay, the last. Uh, da, 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 da. Ben Liberton, yeah, a microbiologist. Yes. At, okay, a microbiologist at Stockholm's uh, Karolinska Institute says hackers could cons conceivably gain huge swathes 
of information from embedded microchips. The ethical dilemmas will become bigger the more sophisticated the microchips become. The data that you could possibly get, sorry, the data that you could possibly get from a chip that is embedded in your body is a lot different from the data that you can get from a smartphone, he says. Conceptually, you could get data about your health, you could get data about your whereabouts, how often you are working, how long you are working. Sorry? Sorry? I don't if know. You are, yeah, keep going. If, okay if you are taking toilet breaks and things like that. Uh, Leverton said that if such data is collected, the big question remains of what happens to it, who uses it, and for what purpose. So far, Epicenter's group of cyborgs doesn't seem too concerned. People ask me, are you chipped? And I say, yes, why not? Said Frederick Kaiser, Kaiser. 47, the chief experience officer at Epicenter. And they all get excited about the privacy issues and what that means and so forth. And for me, it's just a matter of, I like to try new things and just see it's as more of an enable, an enabler and what uh, that would bring into the future. Okay, swathes, you weren't sure Wait. that word. Exactly. Do you know? Uh, do, does anyone know what that means? If we look at the context, it was, what was it? Swathes of information. Like a mount or? No, I don't know. Yes, huge amounts. Yes, huge amounts of information. Okay. Was there any vocabulary apart from that you weren't sure about? If we look back further up, now the first article talked about, let's see, 700 people were expected to occupy the office complex. And I think they said that, um, mm -mm, I was trying to work out how many people over these two years have actually taken up his kind offer to get chipped. And actually he's got but although they've got, um, let's see, they've got how many? <clears throat> now they've got many more employees. But it's, okay, they've got now, uh, they, so they had 700 about two years ago. Now they have about 2,000 workers. And they started implanting them in January 2015, which was when that, I think the first article was written. So in the two years, we've got something like 150 workers there that have taken them up. Yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah, exactly. I think it's creepy. Now, I've, I've got um, another article here, which I thought was quite funny, um, because it was the Daily Express. Okay. Now, I don't know if you know very much about the newspapers in Britain, but the Daily Express is what we call um, one of the tabloids or um, one of the um, uh, newspapers that likes to gossip. Yeah. So um, let's see. Marco, would you like to read this article? Are you there, Marco? Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Marco the Beast, uh, secret plan to implant us all with ID chips by uh, 2070, uh, the 25th of August 2016. Exclusive, it's everywhere. GPS tracking, contactless payment, iris recognition uh, or iris I don't know. <clears throat> but these handy innovations are just the forerunners of a sinister plot to monitor and track us through tiny chips implanted in our bodies 
And that is if you believe the conspiracy theories that claim we will all be secretly micro, uh, microchipped by the end of next year. It may sound like an Orwellian nightmare, but uh, the technology to implant RFID chips into human beings and uh, track their every move has been there for years. RFID stands for radio frequency identification and uses electromagnetic fields to automatically identify and track uh, tags attached to objects, including, including an impl implanted chip. A growing conspiracy theory claims we will all soon be chip chipped through uh, vaccination programs and at birth or be forced to have a contactless microchip instead of money. As with all conspiracies, there are variations on the theory and they vary in extrem extremeness. extremeness. Okay, conspiracy theory. What is a conspiracy theory? Marco. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, like, um, uh, you always doubt about something like um, yeah you don't think uh, like uh, what uh, uh, you doubt and you're uh, uh, you're you're not sure that it's uh, uh, you will get some benefits of it it's like uh, um, uh, it's <laughs> like uh, can anyone help okay okay Conspiracy theory. Does anyone know any examples of conspiracy theories? Conspiracy theories, I suppose in a way it's like when you feel everyone is out to get you or that there's something more complicated, there's a hidden agenda somewhere. So Everyone is against you, like yeah. everyone is against you. But also that there's something hidden, there's something not quite straightforward. So there are many conspiracy theories about, for instance, the 9-11, that maybe it was an insurance company that was um, interested to um, blow up the Twin Towers or that <clears throat> the, um, the president was protecting the Saudi government. There are all sorts of different theories that are much more complicated than what you would think. And then when we talk about an Orwellian nightmare, do you understand what that means? Marco, do you have any idea what it means by an Orwellian nightmare? Uh. And I and don't know about, about Orwell, Orwell, but I don't know what exactly this is. Okay, does anyone, can anyone give any ideas about what they think an Orwellian nightmare might stand for? <clears throat> it's got a capital O, so we're talking about a name, and you've probably all, maybe not, heard of George Orwell. Okay, now he wrote about the future. He wrote some interesting stories, particularly 1984, where he talks about a world which is not that different to what has really turned out. Okay, so it's like looking into the future and it's a nightmare where perhaps the state has too much control, this sort of thing. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Shani, would you like to read the next section? I think you're itching to read and you only read a short paragraph. At the bottom end is the current that world governments will phase out case. So the only way you can buy anything is with an implanted chip that can then be used to ID and monitor you. Next up is the theory that the chips will be secretly implanted into children and some adults through vaccination programs 
the most extreme clan ties in with religious conspiracy theorists. They have said the implanted RFID chip will stand for the mark of the beast as referred to in the book of Revelation. Again, all humans will be forced to take an implant so those in power can know our every detail and monitor our every move. But it's those in power which is scary part. According to the mark of the beast theory, the Illuminati or New World Order NWO, as it is also known, an alleged secret organization that actually runs out the, the government's plans to implant us all. Today you see that information is already being collected when you use your debit card. The ro royal loyalty card at the supermarket, your car has computer chips that enable it, it to function. Everything is controlled by a chip that feeds the information to various databases around the world. Even the, the internet itself is part of this system. We have become a worldwide, worldwide connected society whose every move is being tracked and cataloged. Okay, so anything there you're not sure about? Okay, the mark of the beast referred to in the book of Revelation. So this is a symbol to do with um, theology, okay. Um, so this is a speculation. Yes, this newspaper. Yeah, but do you think there's any truth, maybe? What do you reckon, Shiny? Uh, I could. Has hear anyone you. heard of? I could. Okay. Okay, I'm again. But how true do you think it is? Do you think it's just a story or do you think there might be some truth? Do you know what it means by Big Brother? Maybe I should have. Yeah, I'm having a, I'm having a poor, can you hear, someone's watching us, someone's always watching us, yes? Now, I don't know if all or some of you use Facebook, I don't know if you have ever seen this phenomena, well there are two, okay, first of all, the advertising I see on Facebook, often is relevant to things that I've been looking at on the internet, nothing to do with Facebook, okay? Um, I think even I have seen this sometimes with Leo, now I, I, I ignore it. And Facebook has quite an interesting way of grouping stories together. So I might be looking at one thing and then the next story has some link to it. And yet they are stories that different friends have put that have Can you explain to us how these cookies work? Because are they not working like Big Brother? No, it's not. Uh, it's not. It's, it's they are using it like uh, an example uh, for to reach your interests. It's collecting from your browsers. Okay. So you open the cookies to this to your browsers. If you turn it, this option off, you will not uh, see those things again. 
So, okay, you say turn the cookies off, but nearly every website <laughs> I go into it asks yeah. me, and I always reject, <laughs> reject, reject, reject. No, never... you ha you have to to turn them off from your browsers, from your, oh. for example, Google uh, Chrome. Don't access to my cookies or delete it or do something like that. So it's it's exists on your uh, options on your browsers. It helps them to to reach your. What are you interesting ways? So if you searching on booking online website, so oh, yes. which means you are trying to reserve some kind of, uh, <laughs> of if your trip, so you, they will give you an offer about what are you looking for or what is a place you are looking for. Okay. Now something which I heard, which is much more insidious, um, insidious much more um, not good is like if I'm looking for flights and I use a lot of different websites to try and find the cheapest flight and, and so, so I want to compare I go to these different websites looking at and then the price starts to go up and I go to the same websites and the flights now is more expensive. Now someone told me it's the cookies and that the cookies know I've been there that I must be interested. So if I'm interested, yeah, well, they can now start showing me a more expensive price because they now know that I'm hooked and that I might book a flight with them. Yes. Have you ever come across that? Yes, that's happened. Yeah? Okay. Well, I think that cookies are a bit like Big Brother, yeah? They're, they're, they're <laughs> trying to watch me, yeah? Okay. Um, there's a bit more on this article. So, um, let's see, who would like to read this section? Aladdin, would you like to read this? Okay. For now, it's all voluntary and the New World Orders has to reply on making call devices to lure us in the wanting to be tracked. iPhone, smartphones, RFID sh ships, <laughs> ships, <laughs> but the day is coming where you will be focused to have a ships put inside your body. When that day comes, you will know who the Enter Antichrist. Enter Antichrist in is because he will be the on uh, the one is power over the whole world. Accepting the ships will mean you said uh, side with um Anter 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 Christ and uh, against God. Continue. Yes, please. So what is the reality? Scientists have ex experiment with RFID impl Im implanted for several years. In 1998, the British scientist Kevin Warwick had an impl uh, implant to open doors and switch on lights, which was removed nine days later by March 2009, British scientist Mark Gasson had uh, adv advanced glasses capsuled RFID device surgically impl implanted into his left hand. His implanted was 
infected with a computer virus and he used that to infect other computers the implement are used to locate missing bead and there has been much debate about the value of using them to find missing people or uh, fugitives but with that comes all the concerns over privacy and rep repression. Repression, okay. Repression. I put, so maybe if you think t, sort of the, the sound of t yeah. rather than the soft sound of shit. It is hard bound. And then I suppose some people think of Antichrist as being like the devil, yeah? And this is where the Daily Express is being poetic, where they are being sensationalist, yes, mm -hmm. trying to make us very scared. But yeah, some people might think of it as being quite evil, yes? So, um, okay, Shiny's got a good point here you don't mind being chipped i suppose there might be good reasons to be chipped but then again think of things that you would be um rather afraid that might happen if they chip you can you think fetty would you like to have a chip put in inside you No, of and, course. Yeah, you would? Why? No, 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 of course. <laughs> you mean, of course not? No, 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 no. So you don't want a chip? Yes. <laughs> okay. Does anyone want a chip? Shiny, you say you don't mind. Why do you think it might be useful? Okay, you know, so Chinese. we can save those. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, keep going because you were breaking up, but maybe not. Uh, because I think we can save time and, and uh, do more uh, efficient, you know, uh, our personal databases. Uh, save those red tabs. Red tab. So okay. I, I um, yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, I suppose because I think that I don't lead any, I don't have any secrets or I am not a criminal. Um, at the moment, I can't really see any big disadvantage as long as it's safe to my health okay I wouldn't like a chip if I thought that maybe it would um, perhaps cause me um, a, a health problem but in terms of for example my taxes well I believe that I should pay every penny of my taxes that I owe so if there is a chip inside me that has the um, facility to know maybe how much money I earn and how much I should pay. I don't know that a chip could be that clever, to be honest, but, you know, that wouldn't cause me a problem. Um, I really can't think of anyone wanting to necessarily know where I am, except perhaps um, a few of us and if Lynn is there, she might have a little chuckle um, in terms of counting up the days when you are in one country. Because for people like me that spend different amounts of time in different acts, yeah. So a chip would certainly make it very useful for um, the government to know for sure where a person is. But do you think, um, maybe I'm picking on Aladdin because I know he is our technical guru, but do you think there are already alternatives? So we do we need 
necessarily chips when we have all sorts of other ways to track our movements. I'm thinking of how many uh, immigration places I see, they, they take a photograph, they look into my eyes. Now, are these effective in tracking us? What yes, think? I think, yeah. Yeah. It's effective. It looks like we have it already, but it's outside of our body. We carry it all the time. It's your smartphone. You carry it all the time. This phone is tracking you everywhere. Do you go, uh, That's for example, true. track? That's true, isn't thank it? You. If you also have this uh, small fit, uh, what is called the uh, uh, smart watch, it's you wear oh, yes. it all the time. Oh, it's tracking okay. your feet, yes. tracking your uh, activity. Do you have it all 24 hours, seven days a week so okay. it's just about it's our uh, outside of our bodies so it's it's, uh, it's good to to hide in it in your body i think okay marco you think it would be easier for black mailing but what are we mailing i mean what what do you think would um i mean if we're honest if we're good people then <laughs> I don't understand. What, but you said, yes, you said if, if, but world is so cruel, it's not possible to, yes, and uh, uh, I agree with Aladdin, like, uh, yes, they, they already um, can't track us and uh, it's not a big deal, but uh, uh, big difference is that now it can be implemented in your body, so in your body, so uh, someone. Will... But don't you think that yeah, if we had this, make us more honest, because it would mean that. Sorry, Miriam, but your voice is so breaking up. I, I can't hear you. Well, don't you think? Oh, Don't sorry. you think it might discourage crime? That it might actually stop crime? Okay, the Can you, mm -hmm. um, do you have any thoughts? Do you think it might be a good way to stop crime? Uh, to embed chips in the bodies of the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it can work as a deterrent, but you cannot say that it will stop uh, the crime. I mean, uh, the crime won't take place. The uh, criminals, they'll stop uh, doing committing crimes because it can be stopped 100%. Okay. And uh, yes, but yes, it can. It can work as a deterrent because if a person knows okay. that that person can be trained. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You were saying something. About... Abby, what do you think about catching criminals? Do you think it might catch criminals? Aladdin doesn't think so. Okay. Aladdin, why don't you think it will be helpful to catch criminals? Because they are criminals. They will do anything to hide them from, uh, from these ships to to give some kind of, uh, of fake signals or fake uh, identifier for it. So it's, they will doing any bad things. <laughs> they are criminals. Okay. They don't okay. need to be honest, yeah. But Shiny thinks it's, it's, it's good if we, we're, for, for, if you like, the honest people in this world, yeah? And so she doesn't mind having a chip. I don't think I would mind. I can see some some uses for it. Um, I mean, for example, um, maybe you could pay for things more easily without having to carry money. Um, and certainly if you are trying to go into your house, supposing you have something 
um, a chip that allows you to get into your house, you don't need your keys. Maybe the same for your car, for your office, for your computer. Already we have fingerprints which we can use for our computers, although I have been told always to avoid using them because this is a common problem. When they don't work, then you are locked out from your computer. But of course, if you have a chip that does work, okay, then it might be quite handy for that. Can you think of any um, other advantages that a chip... Okay, children, if they're lost, you can find them, yeah? So not just the dog or the cat, but you can find your children. Of course, if they are naughty children and they didn't want to be found, well, maybe they wouldn't be able to be naughty. Okay. Okay, so um, there was just one other article which, um, well, it's, it's quite interesting. It's um, maybe not quite as interesting as the others that was um, just a few months ago, which if you're interested in the subject, you might want to read. And this one is I think more about America okay and it talks about how um, a president of a company in Minneapolis in the United States has a chip and his wife and he doesn't have to worry about his keys because he's got chips in and he has several chips in his house okay so this gives um, another um, idea on how it can be seen to be useful. Now, what I find is interesting is they use this word called um, biohacker. Okay, um, and a biohacker, so I'll, I'll put this word, they are described as people who um, use this um, implant technology in different ways. Hacking as something negative, something to do with interfering with computer systems. So I suppose maybe it's hacking with your biology, okay? Maybe that's a way to remember the word. But this is an article that you might read if you found this topic. So what I will do is I'll put links here for you to look at. So the article topic in everything is breaking up and falling to pieces. So perhaps this is telling us it's time to say goodbye. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me or not. So I will put the text that you have read and also the links. And obviously, if you're interested in the article, obviously you can continue discussing it under the topic. Um, and maybe have a look to see if you uh, um, can find any other articles that the others may be interested in. Okay, so I have to say ciao for now and um, see you again on Monday.
Huge movement going on and lots of telephone symbols, so I'm not quite sure. Shiny, you're there? Yes? Aladdin, hello? Yes, hi, Marianne. Hi. Hi, hi. now I'm not sure. I, I keep my fingers crossed today because the internet was playing around a little bit earlier, so um, I'm hoping that my signal will be uh, strong enough to um, manage the Skype. So, um, okay, Chani, you're trying to watch the video. I didn't actually manage to watch it because my, um, I think my connection was so slow, but um, maybe afterwards it might be worth having a look at. Um, this is an article that Lynn sent me that looks very interesting and which I found um, a follow-up copy um, just a few days ago. They actually followed up on this story. So we're going to read through the original story and also have a look at the follow-up. Okay, so um, Aladdin, would you like to start well us off? Done. Okay, so Lynn has made a very good point here, chips not ships. Okay, I used to have this problem when I was a kid because I used to copy my mother and in French people find the CH very impossible to pronounce. My mother still calls a chip a ship. Okay, it's a hard sound. <clears throat> so we have chips that we can eat and of course we have these tiny little micro chips so they're micro they're tiny okay now i i used to think that there was actually a lot more use of these than perhaps there is so far but anyway um maybe let's see who should we have reading navel would you like can you read are you able to yes. read Okay, yes. would you like to read the next paragraph, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, on the day of the building's official opening, the developer's chief executive was himself chipped uh, live on stage. And I decided that if was to get to grips with the technology, I had to bite the bullet and get chip. Are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm reading. Can you hear me? Oh my God. Anyone? I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a new a, a new high tech office block in Sweden. They are trying a different approach a ship's under the scan. Veliku de Costa, I'm not sure if I pronounced it, uh, his name right, uh, whose company is one of the tenant, tenants ar arrives at the phone front door and holding his hand against, against it to gain entry. Inside, he does the same things to get into the office space he rent and he can also wear his hand to operate the photocopier. That's all because he, he has a tiny RFID, radio frequency identification ships about the size of uh, a grain uh, of rice implemented in his hand so soon other among the 700 people accepted to occupy the complex will also to offer the chance to be shipped along with access to doors and photocopiers they are promised future services in uh, in the longer re uh, run including the ability to buy in the coffee with a touch of the hand. 
Right. Okay. So, is there any vocabulary there that you're not sure about, Aladdin? Um, one of the ten tints. Uh, what is it? T E N. Tenants. Does anyone know what a tenant is? We have tenants in houses, tenants in um, offices. So when you rent something, you don't own it, you're paying rent to a landlord, okay? So it might be land, it might be an office, it might be a house, yeah? So um, we have um, the tenants in an office block. Okay. Please. You made it. Now what? Create an account and start posting. Sorry, I ought to say the title and is remember, Office Put Chips Under Staff's Skin. So it's actually the um, the name. Yeah, um, hello. Okay, Aladdin. Yep. <laughs> start reading from uh, Skype yeah. or from uh, the article in uh, Office Put Chips Under Skin. Stuff scan. Uh, Hello. Breaking up. I can't hear you. No, I'm waiting for oh, okay. you to start. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Want to go to gain entry to your office? So want to gain entry to your office. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Can you see it? I can yes, see I it. Yes, I can see it. Yes, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Okay. Want to gain entry to your office, get on a bus, or perhaps buy a sandwich. We are all getting used to swiping a card to do all these things. But at 